All right, this is a super informal startup vlog while I'm building Constella, um, your new knowledge companion. I just, it sounds such cringy the way I'm saying. Uh, I'm building Constella, uh, a knowledge companion after having used so many different tools, Obsidian, Tana AI, Heptabase. I didn't like any of them because they're missing one big fundamental thing and it's that you need to see past notes and there's no way to do that in those apps. There's no plugins, there's nothing, there's no convenient way to do it. And I think we have so much knowledge, why do we not use such basic things like pen and paper? I mean, I use them sometimes, but they're good for quick notes, not really for maintaining like compounded knowledge over time. And there's like a lot of books I read over there. And it's just like over time, my knowledge does not add up. So I definitely think it's something, in fact, it's a point of advantage and doubt that I'm doing where it's I'm building it for myself but I think it's something a lot of people need. Like Apple Notes does just not cut it. You need to connect notes and find, when you take a new note, I think you should see similar notes. So yeah, that's my what I've been doing right now. Uh, this is my setup currently. Uh, I got a lot of, got a lot of things to do. I like to plan things out for the week. So this is currently what I have. Um, I try to do these sprints where I set a deadline and set these dates and I always end up falling behind and I get really mad at myself and I'm really frustrated but I hope I hope I'm not being too harsh with myself but if I'm not being too harsh with myself I'm falling behind the deadlines and if I am being too harsh on myself I hope I don't have any like health side effects but I'm trying to get a lot of done I um, I'm exiting my old company where Conch AI where we scaled to over a million users so I have the freedom now so I just graduated university I'm still in the dorms now because I'm going to Japan in uh, February so I want to save money and not look for a apartment or Airbnb in the meantime so they let me stay it was pretty pretty blessed I, I know a lot of people hate university but it has its pros and they, they've, they've helped me a lot um, but yeah I've been doing a lot of what the main thing I've been stuck on is i've been trying to get it to oops i want to show the code base too much i've been trying to get it to build but there's there's just a big build error right now where it's just not it's just not compiling and it's really frustrating me out and it's super annoying too uh let me show the let me show the current product oh dang it well, why did this happen uh, maybe I should cut this part out at least. So this is the current product right now. And I had a whole note taking system and like all the notes set up here. But right now I'm getting some kind of error that's preventing it. Um, yeah, it's sometimes just, uh, it's like I have the whole product. I have the whole product ready. And it's like really close to done and launching. And then this one error comes. So right now, what I'm emphasizing is privacy first because that's really important for notes, especially if you take like really sensitive notes after a therapy session, which I sometimes do. And I want to connect those to my learnings from philosophy and psychology, but I don't want to <laughs> have, I'm now, I'm worried a little bit that Google's learning based off of them. And if it ever leaks, I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm well known or something and that leaks and people misinterpret me and judge me for my 21 year old self right now, that one, that would be a problem. But so what I'm trying to do is do all the AI, machine learning part that powers it locally. So you're, uh, I'm not trying to use OpenAI, and I'm trying to embed and transformers.js, an embedding tool that will basically power the whole um, being able to find similar nodes and track your relationships. So that's pretty important, but for some reason it's just not building. It runs when I do it locally, and I just change some code. And now that I change the code, it's not even running <laughs> on the process. Like it's kind of, it's pretty, it, it, it's sometimes a really frustrating process where it's just like, okay, I know what needs to be done. I know all the challenges. It's just, why are these like, there's so many rules and uh, things that you have to navigate. And I understand that you, that's a necessary, but it's, it's for my mind, which is very like creative and likes to think of different ideas and things. It gets annoying at times, but yeah, that's the thing I've been um, trying to do. And I've been reading a lot. I've been reading a lot. I think reading is really important. I like to do it at night. 
I finished the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. This is such an old book. I found it in New York City while walking around for free. It was, the book was, I would say it's, it's quite profound in that there's so many similarities. Like when he's building his company's newspaper business, it was like the way he dealt with competitors and saw that they were lacking and they were not doing a good job. And also the doubts and the people, the way people would, uh, doubt him was like the same like they would think he's crazy like newspapers and profitable why are you doing that and now everybody knows that content 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 whoever owns that has so much attention in the world and can do so much things and from his newspaper that he eventually decided to despite people doubting him he had a lot of naysayers and even his own father but he eventually went ahead and did it and it's just crazy how much progress he's made and and from that it like it, everything kept compounding he met governors who liked him who would sponsor his project who'd give him positions i think he got like postmaster general of the u.s so jointly and he turned that into a profitable venture he got to meet with like the king's stewards like not stewardship but like the council stupid bureaucrats and he was really frustrated at them and their selfishness and managing the usa he didn't talk about like the wars that were happened but he would talk about how his frustrations and how the U the english army would lose to native americans easily because of their arrogance just so many interesting like virtues and values that you can take away to the modern world too and it's like prehistoric things like he has and it was just the emphasis he placed on philosophy and reading and you can see that play out like when he was unsuccessful when he was a kid he was always open and reading and that all just compounded so i think people believe that oh once people become successful they are like that no it's because they did that i think they become like that and i don't know some people just need a slap to the face and but that's uh, but they also don't want people don't like hurting others but i think if you have a friend who can literally you can give you that slap hopefully metaphorically not physically but that literally wakens you up and makes you realize that's kind of what benjamin franklin reading it did for me the other hand, it started snowing, which is really pretty. It's really pretty outside. I was actually concerned that it's January 5th, so it didn't snow last, well, until December. It didn't snow till this, it only snowed December, January 5th now, so I'm kind of concerned about climate change. But I've got my own product to worry about and making sure I can make a livelihood out of it so I don't burn up all the money I'm gonna get from exiting my old company, which will last me a while, but I don't, I also want to scale and invest and go fast and when you're using VC one it's easy to burn it because it's like uh, you're, you don't even have to repay back that debt but when you're using your own money yeah I'm very careful about it so it's a totally informal blog I think I'm just like I just it feels relaxing to do this I don't know if is it is it like would it be better if I edited it and like made it more custom and like navigate it and use like hooks and trendy videos and i don't know like engagement tactics i don't like doing that but i don't know if it's a necessary evil to keep people engaged and then build up a channel because also i'm not doing it be just to get views but i also think that i there's a lot of people who could because i was four years ago with no in, no income no no even like well i had an internship but like no real like purpose and like that wasn't purpose, but like no monetary, like long term anything. And it's like just through that, my whole process, I want to document that and just share it with people, not out of like ego or like, I, I hope people, you don't take it that way. But it's just, I think there's just things I learned and it's, people don't have to repeat, don't have to reinvent the same wheel and go through the same struggles. And that point of depression I went through when I like got a lot of things happen. But all right, see ya.